do it. Uh, I don't right. know what we're saying. Do you, do you want to do a, a funny thing? Like, Andy, what do you think is better? Good beer or good whiskey? And I go, I like, I like whiskey. Like, I'm still partial to beer. It's like, you know what would be actually best? Just combine the two. <laughs> That's that good. Mean, the, folks, that was perfect. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, do whatever you want to do. All right, everybody, welcome back to 1090. I am Andy, this is Todd. Yeah, maybe I'm an arrogant bastard, and that's fine, he because is. I enjoy drinking Arrogant Bastard from Stone, and I'm intrigued to try oh. Arrogant Bastard Whiskey. So this is gonna what? be a heck of a night. Yeah, this, this is gonna be fun. Now, we're gonna do a quick review of yes. Arrogant Bastard from Stone, since this is kind of like the OG of American Strong Ales, kind of pioneered that whole movement. Yep. But um, then we're gonna dive into a new release that came out this spring and sold out quickly. Uh, Foundry Distilling out of Iowa uh, came up with this little gem, which is the Arrogant Bastard um, Whiskey, which is made, basically they distilled Arrogant Bastard. That is genius. And so we're, we're gonna take Love a look it. at both of them tonight. I can't wait, but obviously the inspiration for this was this, so Todd, tell us a little bit about uh, well, Yeah, it's American Strong, Strong Ale. Ale, so it's, it should be, in theory, uh, nice and boozy, sweet flavors, very malty, malt forward with the American Strong Ale. That's what you should get. What do you get on those? I love that. I, I miss I missed. Yeah, it, it <laughs> smells like beer, right? This is a 7.2%. Really you get just the slightest bit of hot presence. The rest right. is all those caramel malty caramel. notes. It's kind of jumping, smacking me in the face. I mean, this is... I mean, look at the color of it, too. So yeah, think about what the distilled version of this is going to look like uh, when yeah, we get the, to it. Yep. But well. cheers. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? Whew. There's hops in there. Yep. There's hops in there. Yeah. You get you get. Don't go on the nose, but it's that bittering hops. The, hops, the hops hit Big you front. Time. Up front, you get the, you oh, get the hops, and then, and, then, and then it pulls back, and you, you but all those malted notes kind of. But then the but finish is, is it's, a, it's really viscous beer, too. It's like, it's nice. It's Big, strong, creamy, it's chewy. Chewy, 7.2%. Um, now, there's a barrel-aged version of this, which is absolutely fantastic as well. Um, which we don't have, but we to get the base. Yeah. I love this. There's a reason why this is... No, Caramel, I've toffee. Been, I've been out to Stone, yeah, both yeah. in Cali and in Richmond. i got to tell you. Maybe I mean, one this, day this, we'll this, see that video. Maybe one day. This is um, this is the flagship, though, I think. You know, they're, they're, mm -hmm. you know they, people talk about the IPAs, and yeah, they're known for their IPAs. That's what they do best. But this, this kind of... I think elevated stone. does stone. not make a bad beer. They really don't. They don't. And this is just for the proof. Now, I haven't had Arrogant Bastard in a while. This is fantastic. No, I haven't. I'm glad we did. And the reason that this was this is going to be so cool mm. tonight is because, so like we said, Founder Distilling and Arrogant Consortia, they kind of teamed up, and they put this together by mm. distilling Arrogant Bastard yeah. in small barrels. Super small. Uh, so the, that aging process was expedited. Mm -hmm. So usually it's 53 gallon barrels. They, they obviously did smaller barrels than that to kind of make sure that wood was on, uh, was getting more contact yeah. with the whiskey. And, and out of it is born Arrogant Bastard Whiskey. Uh, Foundry Distilling in Iowa, just a little quick backstory. They know what they're doing. They, they kind of specialize in, in innovative ways of, of uh, creating some, some cool whiskeys. They started as really with Templeton Rye. Okay. And, yeah. and a lot of you out there know Templeton Rye and sold it and then kind of moved on to Foundry Distilling. Now they're doing some really cool things. So check them out. I mean, really, yeah, really, really is... cool story. But um, I, I'm curious to I see. I love the fact that they're taking basically this beer, I don't know if they're taking the f the final beer and just I guess they're taking and distilling it, or is it the the grains? Is it the juice? Is it the wort? I'm not what, sure. What are they distilling? I don't know. I I don't know if it's before they. I would assume it's before they put the hops in. Possibly. I don't know. Well, get a, get a nose on this, man. Yeah. Take a take a. Holy! Oh my gosh! So that so is the that, sweetest smelling. <laughs> How sweet is that? Well, but that that is that is beer and whiskey colliding yes. right there. I mean, I I love that. Oh my! Well, take a minus this. minus the hot presence that you get on this. Yeah, You're right. So you get in the the brain, more the brain. You know, I this. think yeah. You, oh you get more of that. It this is like this, candy. Yeah, this is a really sweet nose. It smells like what's the pr proof on this? Ninety four, I think, is a proof on this, or 97. 97, 97, 97 proof. Right. I, I actually really am impressed with the nose already. It's super sweet. It almost yeah. smells candied. Can, like a candied whiskey. Well, I, and, and let's see if the taste is going to fall because I mean we just cheers. we we haven't cleansed our palate. We got the arrogant bastard there. Just kind of see I'm how to go how back and forth. We might have to do that. Cheers. cheers. 
So I like the nose better than, I don't think the, the palette's off-putting. I just, I'm not picking up a lot of things going on there, which is surprising to me. What are you getting? Anything? Well, I mean, it's sweet. a couple things. First of all, for the amount of time it's aged, I would expect it to be much more aggressive. It's not at all. And it's not. That's it's a good very point. it's very smooth. It's it very is. approachable. It's very it's very drinkable. You get some it's, caramel notes. Um, a little bit. What I what I oh, wanted out of this, I think, was more of those multi notes to yeah. kind of come through there because I want I wanted notes, to get, yeah. I'm just not getting as much of the beer, I think, no. as I thought. Me too. Uh, but I, I kind of thought I mean, it was going to come about through. It, though, you're distilling the beer. You're taking all those characteristics right. out of it, right? It's becoming a, a, a spirit. And the smell, though, is when I first smelled this, like, oh, my gosh, that's like the beer. Taste is not, obviously. Well, I'm going to say this. The price point is high. All right, on this. What is the about, What is it? About a buck 49, I think. Whoa. All right. Now, that's... again, again, you're, you're talking about very limited release. Yeah, and 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 the way this is done, so it's it's kind of a novelty, but it's an easy, smooth sipping whiskey, nonetheless. It's a great whiskey. The problem is 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 again the price point. I think on this. So if we go into our past purchase and port room, I'm just not getting a lot from it. There's I, not a lot. I, of I feel like yeah. Um, I'm just gonna say if you are a huge and we're huge fans of Stone. That's that's huge. that's why we picked this up. Um, unless you're a diehard fan, I would probably pass on this, to be truthfully honest with you, just Especially because that price. the price is too high. There are a lot of very easy, smooth drinking whiskeys that are going to fall into this category yep. that you can get for you know 25 to, to 40 bucks. For the price point, it's just too high. I'm agreeing. Um, yeah. Now, from a creativity and uniqueness standpoint, I mean, this is this is really, it's fun and it's cool. The pairing is neat. I think it's great I if just, you have beer drinkers. Hey, yeah. listen, you love Eric and Pass, you love Stone, try this. To me. And it's easy to drink, to right? Me, to me, if I'm But sick, for 140 yeah. some bucks, that's, that's. I say, ooh, get your much. six pack of this because yeah. it's dynamite and it will never disappoint. Yeah. And then just get another nice, easy sip of whiskey to go with if you want to switch back and forth. This is a, this is a keepsake. For me, there you but go. It, but it's I agree. cool. Hundred percent agree. So anyway, if you've, if had you've it, tried it, if you tried it, hey, let us know. Uh, comment below. Um, it's not terrible. I mean, no, it's actually it's 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 it's, 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 it's just me, it's, it's just a decent whiskey. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and you know, it's non-offensive. Like I said, it's approachable. Yeah. It's it's an easy sipper, but it's just it's not worth one hundred fifty dollars. No. So, but anyway. Mm. Until uh, next time, yeah. if you like what you see from 2 to 90, please um, hit that subscribe button, click the little bell in the corner, let you know every time we got a new video yeah. coming out. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and on tap. We got some live stuff coming up that's really cool. Beta testing the applause uh, button, yeah, so please let us know if you like we this. We appreciate it, yep. but uh, honestly, it's a, it's a pretty poor, this is just dynamite all day long, so. So uh, the whole lot of it together has it's been It's a fun. unique pour, I would say. I don't know if it's pretty. It's, it's unique. unique. It's, 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 not, I, it's not offensive. It's not that bad. Not a, no, I didn't think it's that bad. It's just yeah. 140 bucks. Well, for 140 bucks, well, you didn't pay for it. Cheers. Cheers, that's true. <laughs> Drink up. <laughs> Notice I'm drinking the beer. <laughs> mm.